What's going on people and welcome back to another abnormal video. Today I'm going to teach you guys some basic freestyle calisthenic movements you can try out. So follow these tips, try out for yourselves and you'll be well on your way for learning your first calisthenics freestyle moves. Alright guys, first freestyle move we're going to be learning is the bar dance. Now with the bar dance all you need to find yourself is a high long bar. You're going to start by stepping. So all you're going to do is step, 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 step. And back down, step, 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 okay? So what we're trying to do is, as we're taking a step, we're pulling up. So you take one step, you pull up. Take another step, you pull up. That's what creates the illusion of you stepping onto a bar. So we've got our first part down, mastered, the stepping. Now we're going to try and add stepping to the side. So rotating side to side. We're going to practice this on the floor. So what you want to do is just grab your hands like this, okay? You're going to step to one side and step, but you always want to keep your hands facing forwards. That's you're going to be your position on the bar at all times. So step, step. See my hands aren't here, they're always here. Step, 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 step. We're going to now add all of that onto the bar, okay? I'm gonna start by stepping up. So we're gonna step, 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 step. When we're here, step, boom, step, boom, step, boom, step, boom, and then back down. So it's all about the illusion of keeping your body kind of facing forwards, but moving and tilting your legs side to side. That's gonna create that effect of you you're kind of floating if you can't if you're hanging like this the steps aren't going to be looking really good you want to be kind of nice and parallel holding this position as you step and just shifting your weight side to side again just practice guys replay the video slow it down if you have to and trust me with practice you'll be you'll be on well in your way to mastering this little bar dance once you've mastered that i've got one more little freestyle on the uh, high bar for you guys to try out this will require a lot more strength you're going to need to be able to do archer pull-ups for this one but basically we're going to be doing an archer pull-up and we're cycling our legs at the same time so i'll show you what it looks like So again, you have to be really strong in that position, being able to arch or pull up, but then at the same time, you're cycling your legs. Again, it's just about practice, guys. Try and master the arch pull up first, then adding the legs. So you're just literally cycling your legs and trying to flow with it. It's one of those things you just have to practice. I can't really break it down for you. Moving on, guys, onto our next freestyle move. We're gonna be needing some parallel bars. So if you can find three of them, next to each other you can add a lot to it you can create a nice little flow going on so if you can find yourself a set of three parallel bars for the first flow we're gonna try and just slither our way across i'll show you what it looks like you can get in between the bars you're gonna place one foot over other leg comes over in this position here you grab your left over here see over here and you grab grab okay so I'll do that one more time for you. We're here, we're in the middle, placing one foot over, and then the other foot comes over. And we'll stop it, okay? Just repeat that, get comfortable with it. What you wanna do is basically just go in and out of the par parallel bars. So with, with pace, it should look like this. The idea is you want to rest your butt cheek so your glutes on the bar and that's what's going to help you turn. So when I'm here, if you come closer, I'm going to be grabbing the bars like this. I rest my butt cheek, so my butt cheek is resting. And that's when I switch. So I rest my butt cheek on it. So I'm using my kind of my glutes mask to, to slide and turn and that's what's going to create that flowing effect once you become really confident and more comfortable with that you can start to speed things up and that's what's going to make it look a lot more it's going to look dope so i'll show you what it looks like kind of sped up so when you're here you can like jump something let's swing around that's a lot it's 
so there's a lot of stuff you can add to it it's just a nice little combo to transition between the parallel bars so practice it as you get more comfortable you can add more stuff to it all right guys next up i'm going to teach you how to jump into a bar so you probably have seen this in my intro what it looks like i'll show you grab onto the bar like so you're going to use your hips so this is your start position you're going to dip a little bit and pop up okay just practice that so it's a little dip and up just repeat that so you're here use the hips and up you want to pike up so again we're here we're coming down use your legs as your legs come forward you pop up the more you use your hips and your legs the higher you're gonna pop up but you have to catch it right it's gonna be around your waist all you gotta do is just practice it eventually it feels awkward at first but the more you do it the more height you'll get and that's what's gonna help you get into the bar eventually so once you get a bit more comfortable try and tap your feet on the bar so show you what it looks like gonna be here eventually next we're gonna try and go into the bar okay so first we're gonna have a alternate grip so we have the left hand supinated the right hand pronated this is if we're gonna go into the left okay so all we're gonna do is have this grip like so again same thing and you're in once more left hand like so if you're going into the left right hands pronated you're gonna use that hip thrust and just spin in. So this hand is staying, it's just your right hand that's moving in. Okay, that's how you're gonna transition into the bar. Once you're super confident with that, you can then try both hands pronated. So with both hands pronated, it's more of a jump. What are you gonna do? See it, use that hip drive and then catch in. So it just requires a bit more explosive power and kind of it's a bit more scarier because you're letting go of the bar completely and you're just trying to grab the parallel bars okay it's just about practice guys you may you won't hit yourself and if you do it won't hurt that much but just repeat it practice 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 drill it and eventually once you overcome the fear you'll be able to do a light one just any day any day at all just any time you just pop up and do it i got one last move on the parallel bars for you guys i'm gonna show you first what it looks like it's dope then transition in between each one so like this <laughs> see it's quite cool uses the momentum but again it just helps you transition between the bars it's dope so with this one again it's just a bit of fear factor involved to overcome that i'm going to break it down so what you do is come to the edge so you shouldn't be here again in between the bars same use your legs you're gonna thrust back same principle you're gonna keep the knees bent and try and land in between these ones the ones next to it practice again little swing bend the knees and try and land when you get a bit more confident just practice I'm trying to get closer in just try and get closer in okay remember to use your legs keep the knees in it's gonna help you Okay, it's just overcoming the fear. The more you swing, the less control you have. So maybe use a little swing at first. As you build confidence, you can use more swing, gain more height, and then the more height you get, it just looks dope. It looks so, so cool. So practice it, guys. Let me know how you get on. All right, guys, this will be your last freestyle move to learn. I'm gonna teach you guys the forwards and backwards bar roll. So you wanna find yourself kind of a lowish bar. Uh, something kind of like you can put your head through you don't want it too low so around like shoulder width height or head height is perfect what you're gonna do is first forwards roll so we're gonna we're gonna practice the forwards roll first just to overcome the fear we're literally just gonna roll forwards and hang so I'll show you what it looks like now jump up just roll forwards and drop practice that get comfortable with being inverted so we're gonna do that one more time roll forwards and control down try and control yourself when you come down okay do it one more time try with control keep your knees tucked in like so 
So you have to use a bit of strength when you come down to control yourself on the descent. This is just gonna help you overcome the fear of rolling forwards. So next step guys, we're gonna try and roll forwards and keep ourselves on top of the bar. Now, what you have to do is grab the back of your hamstrings. I'll show you what it looks like. Literally, roll yourself forwards, grab the back of your hamstrings. That's all you have to do to roll. So you're here. Back down, okay? I'm gonna do that one more time for you. reason why I came over and around the bar is momentum. I used a lot of momentum so I threw my head forward, I grabbed the back of my hamstrings and that's what allowed me to come back on top of the bar. If you noticed, I land back on my forearms. So don't worry guys, if you don't get enough momentum, you won't fall. Let me show you why you won't fall. If you grab the back of your hamstrings, I'm still not falling, guys. I'm not playing with grabbing the ball. Okay. You will be secure. You will not fall. Just don't panic. If you grab the back of your hamstrings and you don't get enough momentum, you won't fall. Even if you let go of your hands. I've just shown you that right now. Try it on a small bar first. I find it easy on a higher bar because you get more room. So if you can't do it on a small bar, try on a higher bar as well. That might help. So again, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It just takes practice, guys. I'm gonna try slow-mo it for you so you can see exactly where my hand placement is. But all you have to do is generate a bit of momentum. So lean back, throw your head forward, grab the back of your hamstrings, and that's just gonna allow you to roll and come over on top of the bar. So I'll show you one more time on the higher bar. Yeah, it's wet. I'll do it one more time. So I'm here, leaning back. And then. All right guys, that was the forwards roll. Last one, the backwards roll. Now the backwards roll, I find quite easier. You have to start on your forearms and then you literally again, just grab the back of your hamstrings and your legs will propel you all the way back. The problem with the backwards one, it is a lot more scarier. <laughs> Okay, but once you overcome the fear factor, it's a lot easier than a forwards roll because literally your legs carry you and you literally don't have to do much, okay? So I'll show you how to do the backwards one. Again, you start on your forearms, so find yourself a bar, jump up, go on your forearms, what are you gonna do? Lean forwards and as you come back, you grab the back of your legs. Okay, so it's quite fun, right? Your legs carry you forward. So again, on the forearms, Lean back, forwards, and literally throw your heads backwards. It's scary. This is a Chucky Beat production. But with practice, you'll get it. You just have to lean back, trust yourself, grab the back of your legs, try keep them straight, and you'll come back on top of the bar. Be careful around the private area, because if you catch it wrong, it will mash your shit up. So don't do that, okay? Make sure it's around your waist and you're good. So that was the freestyle video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, share, most importantly subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, share this video with a friend, uh, it does help grow the channel and also smash that like button. I need you guys to help me out. Uh, I love this video and I loved making it for you guys. This will be the last one for 2019. I'll see you all in 2020. Enough love for the sport. Catch you guys next week. It's been your boy Tyler and I'm out. Peace.